I'm wondering, you've been there. Um, have you ventured outside of Tel Aviv? Um, kind of paint us a picture of what it's like being there. It all started in a holiday and uh, things turned back turned bad really quick. Uh, it's very Israeli to say, but I thought it was just missiles. We heard the sirens. We went to the bunker. Uh, pretty, you know, pretty normal for us. And uh, it turned out to be much more with the terrorists infiltrating the country. And uh, ever since, you know, it uh, it's really been a mess. Um, the what's happening? It's not far from here. It's you know, 25 miles, 30 miles from where I'm staying. Uh, it's a war zone. And, uh, you know, just by the hand of God that I'm not there inside the war zone. Uh, but it's atrocious what they've done, what they've been doing. This is really terrorism. They've crossed any red line of war. This is war crimes. They just uh, announced, you know, outside of Gaza, where the terrorists infiltrated first, they found 40 dead babies, babies, some of them beheaded. Uh, some of them burnt alive. How surgically can it be done to go after Hamas without killing the hostages? What's the sentiment there about how Israel should proceed? The sentiment uh, among the public is anybody would rather die uh, than be held hostage by Hamas. Uh, they've raped our women, you know, in the, at the rave. You've seen the videos. Also, everything I'm talking about, it's all on my Instagram. It's all over Instagram, TikTok, uh, Twitter. They filmed it and posted it to brag. They thought it was a good thing. This is what they, these animals think is a good thing. I don't know how we can do it. I don't think we can retrieve everybody. I think we're going to have to, you know, attack. And uh, they left us no choice. Honestly, in Israel, every time there's an option for a truce, you know, they always poke the bear. We have a very strong army. We we do what we call, you know, you mow the lawn, you take care of a few people from Hamas who organize the terror attacks, and then they say they ask for truce, and you say, yeah, sure, you know, we don't want a war, we want to save lives. But this time there is no truce. Uh, by the time we get done with them, there's not going to be anybody left to do truce with, and I'm talking about Hamas. And uh, hopefully the least amount of uh, civilians get hurt but all the blood is on their hands. We got to do something. We got to strike back and we got to get out as much people as we can out of there as fast as possible because the way they hold hostage, it's not humane. It's crimes against humanity.